Hey, it's Professor Josh. Welcome back to another video. Today we have some great things in store, including a $200 Nerdy Newt mystery box and the brand new Pop Albums, the newest thing with Funko. Check it out. Okay, welcome back. Now it's time to check out, let's dive into the new pop album. So this coming around, I don't know, uh, it was like several months ago, almost six months ago, plus they announced these pop albums, um, started coming out, and the first one they announced was Notorious B.I.G. So Biggie Smalls, and then you're like, hmm, what does that look like? Like, what does the pop albums look like? How are they different? Um, and that's what we're gonna check out today because I really wanna kinda look into these. I haven't really checked them out. Like, I opened the box, have them here, um, but I have both of the newest ones. So, two of the ones that have launched. So, Notorious B.I.G. was the first one to launch. Um, the cool thing about this, everyone loved this because of the pop on it, it seems like it's a, its own album cover. And that's what it's looking for, right? Your CD, your album cover you have here. Um, really great looking. I'll definitely, you know, give you some close up looks at it, but it's really cool because it's like a hard, like almost like a hard stack kind of um, case it comes into. Now the cover on is on the outside of the case, which I find is kind of weird. I wish it was on the inside of it so it would protect it as well, this outside piece, but I know it's supposed to look like just the album with that standing on it. Um, this is just kind of like any other thing with Pops, just a cover. But it's kind of interesting because I know inside there's supposed to be an ability to hang these as well too. But you can't do that with this on, which I find is kind of weird. Um, I would rather have it on there. But it looks great with the little Funko inside. So the baby inside from the Notorious B.I.G. album. So uh, ready to die looks great good first number one in this album line i wonder how this line will do these are a lot larger so if we compare them to say a funko here let's just grab a let's grab another funko right here so i'm just going to grab this one here just to compare size wise so thickness they're about the same so if you look at thickness they're really close it is of course taller um and then if you look at definitely Definitely taller, about a half of pop taller, um, but let's see, and then almost double the size of a pop. So it's going to take up a good bit of room. So if you see, like, even in like this, it takes up almost the whole thing. It'd be really cool, like we said, on the wall. So if you had it hanging on your wall, but I really wish this was inside. I wish Funko did a better job of putting this inside instead of keeping it out. But we can kind of take it out of the box here. So it is, like I said, out of the box now. Um, it's not sealed in there, but it's sealed around here. And it does have holes for hanging. So different kind of holes throughout, it looks like, to hang. And this one actually is attaching to the pop, so the pop doesn't fall. So the pop's not going to move around. There isn't that plastic um, around that. But there is sealed plastic around here, so you'd have to take this off and put it on. But I think also additional, I like it with the box because I don't know then you can tell it's a pop album there is nothing on there once it's off to tell you it's a pop album other than on top kind of like their hard stacks they have it right there so it does look good but I still think you know I wish they did a better job of almost having some holes right in here in the cardboard so you could keep it in the cardboard hanging up as well instead of having to take it out and having it there just as the album. I don't know. Uh, I'll be curious of how you, everyone starts displaying these. Let me know if you already have one, how you display them. Put it in the comments. Let me know. I'm curious of like if people are taking them out, leaving them in. Um, I'm sure right now everyone's kind of leaving them in. So that was number one in the line. Number two is actually interesting. 
Uh, a lot of people were guessing Nirvana was going to be one, Michael Jackson was going to be one. Like early on, there was a lot of guesses. Uh, Nevermind was like a really popular one I saw on like Reddit and on Instagram and Twitter and other places. But actually, number two in the pop album line is Black Sabbath. Uh, this one does look really good. Uh, it is, of course, uh, Black Sabbath, just titled, self titled Black Sabbath album. Um, it does look really good. It has a lot more color to it, of course, because of the album cover. Um, so it, it is a little different looking. So kind of as we get in there, kind of see some of those pieces in there. I do like this, how this is done. Um, I don't know if I would keep it. Again, you can see it attached back here. So you'd almost have to uh, unscrew and they must have like a screw in the back of the pop itself. Um, I'm not going to take it out of the plastic at this point because like I said, I like these kind of in box. I don't know. I wish it kind of could display like this a little better, um, but it is nice. I, I don't know how many more I'll get if I'll keep getting the whole lineup. Um, several others, you know, maybe it's just finding that favorite album. There's lots of new ones coming. So kind of looking at, let's see, I think Number three, I believe, is going to be, I know there's Linkin Park coming out. Um, that is Hybrid Theory from Linkin Park. I know also um, My Chemical Romance is coming out with Black Parade, which that one looks really good. I like that one a lot. I like the look of it. Of course, Queen is a great one. Queen, News of the World, um, all those. Who knows what else they'll come out with. Uh, Guns N' Roses, they've done all those as kind of the pop rock line. Well, they have a Guns N' Roses one. They have a Nirvana one. A lot of people, you know, thinking that would be like early on one of them. I don't know what other ones they'll come out with. But so far we have, I think, three more coming out um, in the lineup pretty soon. So pay attention to those. You can find these on the Funko shop or at your local, a lot of retailers or like Smy or um, I know Spastic and things like that also have some of these pop album lines. So cool to check out. I did see these on the Funko shop and I believe they're in, um, in uh, stock actually on the Funko shop. So it might be worth getting them if you're interested in order them, have them delivered. Um, those kind of things. So we'll see. I, I'm curious what your thoughts on the pop album line is. I don't know. I, I think, you know, there's some plus and minuses to them. I think they're interesting how the box is done. Um, very different. So, you know, very different. Uh, different way of doing them uh, with this kind of like how it stands up on its own and kind of slides out and has that um, take out the plastic but it's its own little hard stack which is really interesting but it still does have a pop inside so you're getting like an extra large box uh, pretty much for your Funko so extra large box with a stack um, not too bad so definitely go check that out um, if you want to pick up one pick up one all right, let's see. So pop albums are done and it's time to get into, of course, a mystery box. Who doesn't love a mystery box on this channel? I know all of you love mystery boxes, um, or at least love me opening them. You don't have to pay for them. Maybe me opening them, see what I get and see how I do. But I always have fun because I always pick, you know, especially I like mystery boxes that I have fun with and find someone that I really like. So this is Nerdy Newt. I've opened several from Nerdy Newt before in the past. Um, they do a great mystery box. This is $200, $200 guaranteed value. I mean, you can't beat that when you can get that guaranteed value. And with $200, um, when you only have a few pops in here, you're not gonna have that crazy number of like, you're not gonna have 10 commons, you know, at, at 20 bucks or anything like that. So we're probably gonna have about four pops. I don't know if it was four to six, um, that type of thing. Maybe some oversized stuff as well. So that could happen. I'll show you kind of what some of the hits were um, from that up on the screen here so you can check them out and then we'll dive in and like I said I've had some good luck with Nerdy Newt in the past so I'm hoping for something that I maybe don't have a grail that I don't have um, kind of looking around I'm looking at it it's all bottom but I have one two stack one like two pack that's wrapped and then so I have soft stacks I have like protectors on three. I have one that's wrapped, that must be a two pack, and then one stack. 
$200 box. I hope you get a stack. So that's good. So I'll start off with some of these smaller ones. We'll go into that and kind of see what value we got. And then we'll dive into see if we got a grail. All right. One, two, three. Oh, it's Clark Kent. I don't, you know, Smallville. I love Smallville. I don't know if you watch Smallville. Um, I watch Smallville. Definitely a cool one. This is only from 2018. Um, Smallville is a great show. I really enjoyed it. Definitely, I feel like I need to go back and watch it. I think we started watching it and then stopped. Um, really curious what these could be worth. So, haven't seen too many of the Smallville ones, actually, myself. I don't collect the lines, so I haven't seen them. So, we'll look up. Let's see. Clark Kent coming in. I like how he's opening, you know, taking off, ripping open his shirt. He still has kind of a tie, which is interesting because, you know, most of Smallville, he's much younger um, in his high school days. So this must be maybe just after it. I'm trying to remember, see if I can remember when, what part of Smallville it was. But there is, uh, on the back, there's the rest of them. Lois Lane, Clark Kent. There's actually Green Arrow on here and stuff like that. So Clark Kent. Uh, there's a regular Clark Kent. There's another shirtless one. But this is the one with the shirt. Coming in at $29 already. So we got $29. Let's keep track. Um, hope you're keeping track along at home. Let me know what you're liking. What ones are you liking? So uh, we got one superhero. We got... We got uh, Clark Kent there from Smallville. Let's see what else we got in this nerdy new box. One, two, three. Oh, another superhero, Supergirl. Funny enough, I've had this pop before. Um, this is from the DC, this DC Comics Superheroes line. This is Supergirl. Um, I don't remember what she was worth. I did have her before. I believe I traded it to someone that was looking for it. Um, can't look it up. It's a, can't scan it. Made it hard on me. I have to actually look it up. So we'll look it up. We'll see what it's going for. So got $29 so far. Supergirl is only coming at 12 Not that much. I'm surprised. It's a, it's a pretty cool one. But only coming in at $12. So we got a little ways to go, which is a good thing, right? The $200 guaranteed box. Hoping for some good grails here. Let's see. All right. So we got another one in Protector. And then we have a two-pack. And then we got that. Heart stack. You know you love those heart stacks. You love hearing that. Tap, tap, tap. You know, not tapping on sodas today. We're tapping on stacks. So let's see. Boom. Oh. Okay. Bakugo, I like to call him. Katsuki. Um, so Bakugo from My Hero. This one actually holds a little decent value for a common. So My Hero Academia common. Um, I believe it's right around that $20 mark last time I looked it up. Somewhere around that. A little less. 15 So, still holding, you know, a little bit of value. Nothing crazy. Uh, they did have the other one that came out during, uh, what, uh, San Diego Comic-Con this year? So, they had that other one. Um, that definitely added some value. So, we're only coming in right now. That was $15, $56. We have a two-pack, it feels like, in here. And then we have that stack. So let's see what the two-pack is. Try not to look. It's hard because it's wrapped up. So I want to make sure I open it carefully because it is not in a protector or anything. So let's see. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. 101 Dalmatians. I have never collected this line, but it is Disney line. 101. Dalmatians, Pongo, and Purity. Um, so the two, the two, you know, mom and dad, pretty much of the Dalmatians. So let's see what we got going on here. I have no idea what this one can be worth. It is a pop in the box. So do you see the sticker on it? We're getting a lot of glare because it's a big shiny box. So kind of a crazy amount of glare, but let's see. Coming in at $20. So that's a good sign for us. So $20 means we're coming in at $76. So that means we should have a nice grail. We do have a stack coming in. Um, definitely probably not fitting our collection. I don't know if we'd keep this one. Um, I don't know so far. We have uh, the My Hero, my son's big My Hero collector. So 
Let's see what we got in this stack. I'm really excited again. Um, before we do that, though, remember about my live on Monday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Come join us. So actually, it would be a special live stream because Shannon's going to be joining me, too. Um, so if you enjoy our duels, we'll be battling out, having some fun, opening some mystery boxes from Bands for Arms um, on Monday, you know, December, what is it, 21st, so December 21st um, at 9.30 p.m. Eastern on my channel live. Uh, the cool thing about it, it's school's out live stream. So school's out for all of us. Um, college is out, son's off school, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's always good. Come visit the professor, come visit Shannon, and have some fun on our live stream. And we have some giveaways. And for that giveaway, you gotta stick around to the end figure out what the keyword is. So stick around here. All right, so ready to see what this is in the stack. It's hard because stacks, you can't tell what's front or back. This one, all right, I don't feel the pop logo on the top, but I think this feels like the bottom. So hopefully at least have that right. One, two, three. What do we got here? Oh, oh, this is a nice one. Squidward. So Squidward is a hard to get one Wow, 2012. Um, I do have the OG SpongeBob, so I actually have this SpongeBob set. The interesting thing is, like, a lot of people say he should have, like, the certain marks on him to be legit, but I have another one that's just like this one. Um, looks just like it and everything, and this was on sale for, at one time, $10.99. I don't think this is worth $10.99 anymore. I think it's worth a lot more. Um, so I've seen production made of these in a couple different ways. So, you know, there are some fakes out there for this one, but this looks good to me. And I'm sure Nerdy New checked them out too as well. But wow, yeah, 2012. Yeah, this was on sale. Has a sales sticker um, on the bottom, which is kind of sad a little bit because it covers the regular scan sticker. But it was from 128 2013 so it is a 2012 pop let's see what squidward is coming in at i believe he's gone up there in value so i think we're going to be over value um he keeps rising sandy keeps rising even more i know sandy cheeks was the is the real grail from like this just kind of basic line common line of these but uh yeah it's cr always crazy when you see these old school pops so Squidward Tentacles is coming in at $135, $135. So that should help us bring us over that $200 mark, right? Just right over that. So I thought he might be a little more, but I think Sandy at one time was coming in almost at 200 or so. This one won't go down. I think a hard thing about this too, these are hard to find because there's so many different fakes on eBay and such like that. Value's always kind of skewed on these. Um, definitely worth a good bit. So $211 is our total for the box. So that should be shipping the box, everything, all taken care of um, with our value. And what a great pop. This is a good one. I know I already have it. So it's always kind of sad when you get a grail that you already have. But I know this could go to a good home. Um, and, and definitely, it's definitely worth more than $135. Because these are getting harder and harder to find. Especially in good condition. I'll have to take it out of the box. It's taped up. So I won't take that time right now to look at it. But I know it, it's worth a good amount. So very cool. Let me know. Comment below. What is your favorite? Like, was uh, Squidward? Are you a big SpongeBob fan? Uh, maybe you're a Disney fan. Maybe you're a superhero fan. Or, you know, you know, maybe Pop Album is your favorite thing we did today, too, as well. Um, I'm still kind of on the fence on the Pop Albums. I have to see. I, I just wish it wasn't, like, sealed and wrapped or around the out inside of it. It's kind of weird how they did those. So I wish they were kind of a little bit different for hanging. But maybe it would be cool to take one out and hang it up and see what it looks like. Um, let me know how you're displaying yours. So I'm always curious how other people display theirs. And you're looking for that secret code what do you need school is out so all one word hashtag school is out um, put that in the comments hashtag school is out all one word that is your comment for winning something on the live stream tonight so hopefully you can join us hopefully you can get picked for that and we have some great prizes i'm not going to tell you the prizes yet because we have a couple of different things we're going to give away maybe we'll have a prize wheel too 
So those are always fun as well. So we did that on our Whatnot auction last week. We had a lot of fun with the prize wheel for people to get different mystery prizes uh, for a winning box battle. So if you like to see another box battle, mystery box battle on Whatnot, comment below or message me on Instagram too. I'd love to know how many people enjoyed that, how many people had fun either watching, participating, or just checking it out. Um, and hopefully some more auctions like that in the future on Whatnot. So again, don't forget to what? like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time on our next video. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.